Hey guys, um, welcome to my very first physics video, and this is going to be about the brief history of physics, um, specifically ancient Greece. Um, I feel like learning any subject, it is great to learn the history of how it was and how it started, and you can compare it to how it is today, and you can just say to yourself, wow, it's amazing I actually got that far. So this is why I'm starting with the history of physics, but most of my channel just to be about certain you know, just actually doing physics. So with that being said, uh, let's, let's just start this slide. So the movement to understanding the world around us uh, began in Greece from 60, 650 to 480 BCE with philosophers. Now, back then, um, we know, well, obviously we know them as physicists today, but back then they were, they were known as philosophers. Um, a very well-known philosopher named Thales of Miletus was known as the father of science. Now, he was called the father of science because he would not accept mythological explanations for any natural phenomenon. He, he, he uh, said that every event in, observed in our world has a natural cause, and he will not accept any mythological explanations, like I said before. Um, he has also made other advancements that he's known for other than that. Um, in 580 BCE, he brought up the suggestion that water is a basic element. Um, he be also began experimenting with magnets, and he was the first ever to record the night sky. And also, he was the first to address time in the universe. So during the uh, classical period and the Hellen Hellenistic times, um, natural philosophy started developing into what we know now uh, as the field of physics. So Aristotle put forward the notion that observing our surroundings and natural phenomenon could lead to the natural laws governing, could lead to learning about the natural laws governing them. In 4th century BCE, he founded a system called Aristotelian physics, and in which he tried to explain ideas like the motion of gravity, with the theory of four elements. And these four elements, as you can see, were earth, water, fire, and air. And this was so popular that the ideas lasted all the way through the Middle Ages, obviously until Galileo and Isaac Newton came around. Knowledge that the earth was round, uh, knowledge that the earth was round was actually common knowledge, even in the time of classical Greece. In 240 BCE, Eratosthenes conducted an experiment that accurately measured the circumference of Earth. Um, around this time, also, Seleucus of Seleucia um, stated that the Earth rotated around its own axis, which in turn revolved around the Sun. And this is what we know now as the heliocentric model. Um, and he was the first person to actually uh, prove this. Around 4 BCE, the well-known Greek uh, mathematician Archimedes, which is we all think is the generally the greatest mathematician of all time, uh, laid, uh, laid the foundations of hydrostatics, statics, and calculated the mathematics of a lever. Um, his Archimedes screw underpins modern hydroengineering, and even made machines to hold back Rome in the First Punic War. Archimedes went on and dismantled Aristotle's theory of, on metaphysics, pointing out that it is impossible to separate mathematics and nature. Around 250 BCE, he, um, Archimedes developed the law of buoyancy, which is known as Archimedes' principle. And, I th and I'm pretty sure that is about, you know, about the crown and how they wanted to see if it was fake gold. I'm not 100% sure on that. I didn't research that, but I'm pretty sure that where that's from. Um, he also developed the principles of equilibrium states and center of gravity, and these ideas influenced Galileo and Newton in their findings. The last was certainly not the least known scholar with the name Hipparchus, which he was um, from 190 to 120 BCE, and his work focused on the astronomy and mathematics, and he was able to map the motion of stars and planets and added calculations of the distance of the sun and the moon from Earth, and even predicted the times in which the solar eclipses would happen. 
So with that being said, that is the end of this PowerPoint. Um, we're out of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm a little rusty on this. this is my first video, but I think I did pretty well. Um, there will be a lot more videos to come out, maybe later this week or uh, next week. So stay tuned and thanks for listening.